Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. We're up to week 10 in our 12 weeks for Christmas with our stitch along with our maple farm fabric. So today we're going to be making what I've called a hanging heart. It is just a simple um, little heart that you can hang and hold some goodies in. You can use it as a gift or you can just simply use it as storage in your craft room. So you'll need to download the template sheet and on the template sheet you'll have a heart shape then you'll have a half heart shape and then you'll have some little flowers down here and all the little pieces with some leaves. So if you print this out onto some cardboard that would be the best bet because then you can cut these two straight out and you can make yourself a template which is what I have done here. So I've cut my heart out and I've cut my half heart out. So I'm just going to pop those um, up there for a moment. You're also going to need some felt. You'll need some of your Tilda Fix. Now if you bought the the kit for the 12 weeks of Christmas you'll have some Tilda Fix in there. I'm going to be using a combination of natural linen along with this floral from the Maple Farm range so you can choose yours. You will also need some ribbon and if you've got the kit that came in the kit as well. You'll have some pearl trim so that matches it beautifully also. I've also got a bit of wadding here which we're going to use. You're also going to need to get some wet glue and you're also going to need some cereal weight cardboard. Now I've got a cereal box here, my husband's favourite, Crunchy Nut. Um, so I'm going to use this and I'm just going to clear off the deck now and we're just going to have our cardboard and our templates and a pencil for now and we'll get started. Okay, so we'll take our piece of cereal weight cardboard and turn it over to the plain side. We'll also take our templates and we're going to draw two pieces of cardboard of the heart shape. Here we go, that's one. And I'm going to try and squeeze the other one up here. Whoops. So printing this onto cardboard, you can see why it's much easier. And then we're going to cut one of this shape here. There we go, and then we're just going to go ahead and cut them out. go they're all cut out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lay all three of these shapes down onto our wadding. So it's just a scrap piece of quilt batting that I'm using and I'm going to pop the glue onto the coloured side so that you can't see it. So we're going to make sure I'm going to have enough room here and I am absolutely fine. So I'm going to be using just a craft glue. Now this is a sticky, sticky glue. can be quite messy so today I am going to cheat a little and I am going to be using a plastic spatula. So this is from an art store. Um, you can use a knife, anything like that because this glue will peel off once it's dry. So you won't need to worry about that but I just don't want to get this stuff all over me, which I tend to do. Okay, so then just pop that straight down onto the wadding like so because we're going to be cutting it out in a moment once it's dry directly along the cardboard so we don't need to worry about any overflow and there we go pop that one there now this stuff can be quite toxic smelling even though it is only a craft glue so make sure that you're using it in a well ventilated area we don't want you to gas yourself Uh, 
And there we go. And we'll just pop that one down there. So I'm just going to pop this aside now and let it dry. It doesn't take very long, you know, 10 minutes probably, just to get it uh, to the point where we can start using it. So we'll just pop that off to the side. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take our piece of Maple Farm and we are going to draw two of the heart shapes onto the wrong side of it. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to be cutting it out, but not on the trace line. We're going to be cutting it out away from that line. But this will give us the guide here. So when you are doing that, make sure that you've left enough room between the two shapes so that you've got room for a silvage. And you need quite a large silvage, about half an inch between each. So you would need to leave an inch. Okay, so we're doing those two on our pattern fabric. And now we can go ahead and cut those out. Actually, I'll do that in a moment. We'll do all the cutting out together. Now we'll take our piece of linen, which is what I'm going to be using for the front pocket. And the same thing here, we're just going to, on the wrong side of the linen, if you can work out which side that is, which I sometimes have difficulty with. And then we will draw our little pocket Okay, so I'll go ahead now and cut them out with around about a half an inch of a silvage. And there we go, we'll just pop those aside for a moment as well, but we will keep this piece here out. Okay, so on your pattern sheet you did have some little flower shapes that you could see down here. So you need to trace off one of each of these shapes onto the wrong side, paper side, of your applique paper. Now this stuff is called Tilda Fix, there are very... Um, many brands including Vlizafix, anything like that, but it is a fusible web applique paper. And you can see here, this is the fusible side. Hopefully you can see the shine on that. And then you have a paper side. So you just simply pop your piece of paper down and then you just draw off your shape. Then you cut around it roughly, not on that trace line, cut around it roughly, and then you can fuse it to the wrong side of your felt. So what I've done is I've chosen two different colours for the flowers here. I've done all of the leaves in the green. So I've done two big and two small of the leaves because I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. I just thought I'd just do that. And then I've taken a contrast colour for one of the circles and the opposing colour for the circle for the larger flower. So I will just now sit and cut these out.
Okay, so all my little shapes are now cut out. So you need to decide whether or not you're going to be stitching around these. Now, if you want to stitch around them, you've got to apply them now. If, you, if you're not going to worry about stitching around them, you can apply them after you put the heart together. But I would like to stitch mine, I think. So what I'm going to do is use a water-soluble marker because I don't want these marks to um, stay. And I've turned over the piece of linen so that it's now got the front facing up. I'm just popping my template on just so I can work out where the cardboard is going to sit and I can that way find out where the centre is of my little pocket so I can work out where I'm going to pop these flowers. Now you can now just peel off the paper and you'll be left with the applique glue on the back of your felt and you can once you've got um, some idea of where you're going to be putting your flowers you can then take it to the iron and fuse them down and then you can stitch them if that's what you want to do. You can do it on the machine or you can of course do it by hand. That's entirely up to you. All of the thread colours have been listed in the group before and most of them will match your felt. So um, you, you can just sit there and do that if that's something that you like to do. Now I just use a blanket stitch around these with two strands of embroidery thread. Um, but you might decide that you want to do something a little bit different. Totally up to you. So you can just, as I said, peel off the paper. Then you can decide where you want your leaves, where you want your little flowers to sit as well. And you might want to use all of the leaves or you might decide that you are not going to to use them all. Now you can see here that I, if I put that leaf there, I'm going to be... Um, where the fabric's actually going to be turned under so that won't work so I've just got to move it up a little bit and make sure that I've got it in the right spot so you're just going to have to play around with it a little bit until you're happy with where where you're at with it pop your little center of your flowers in and yeah just make it your own just by changing changing how these um, are applied on. So I'm going to take mine over to the ironing board now. I'm then going to go and stitch it down and then we'll come back and start putting this little heart together. Okay there we go so it's all stitched you can see there I've done it with a blanket stitch around each of them. It's come up okay. So what I've also done is I've started to cut away the remainder of the wadding from the shape so I've just got this little bit here left to do so all you do is just run your scissors along the edge of the cardboard and then you can easily trim the shapes like that. You also will need to cut a piece of felt the same shape as the pocket and just a tiny little bit smaller so what I did was I cut it out and then I gave it a slight haircut just so that it comes in from the edge a little bit you just want to keep it that little bit smaller so that will sit there like that on my pocket so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply these shapes onto the fabric and so this little pocket here we're going to line up with the drawn lines that we've got there on the other side that we had before and I'm going to be using a glue runner to stick mine down now you can use the wet glue if you want. I just find it to be really really messy and the last time I made something like this I used my glue runner and it worked out really much better. So the other thing that we're going to do is the same thing to the hearts. So we're going to lay the wadding side down onto the back of the fabric like so and then I have clipped all of the fabric but I haven't clipped right up to that drawn line just a little bit back from there that you can see there um, and so the same thing you just glue all the way around I'm not going to bore you by, by, by doing it on camera but this is how it will look at the end so you make sure that you pull it as you go um, and mine's come a little bit unstuck because I am using that glue runner but if you want to use the wet glue you can and then we're going to start putting this together. So if you get all three of your shapes all organised um, and all, all glued down onto the cardboard and then we'll come back and put it all together. So now I have all three of my shapes with the fabric turned over. I've also glued that piece of felt onto the back of the little pocket there. So we just have these ones which are blank. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a bit of our ribbon and I've got some beautiful seam binding. If you have one of the kits, you will have some seam binding as well. So you just need to measure off enough for a hanger. Just decide how long you would like your hanger to be. And I'm thinking that that will be about the right length there. So just pop a little bit of glue down to hold it in place. And make sure that you have your ribbon nice and straight. I'm just going to pop this ribbon on top of itself here in the centre. So a bit like that. So now we can get our glue, our wet glue, and we can glue these two together and then we can pop some of our little wonder clips all the way around the edge just to hold it nice nice and tight while it dries. We'll do that. So I've applied the glue there and you might be able to see that I have it um, in from the edge. We don't want it right on the edge because if we do then it's going to spill out the sides and then we're going to end up with a very messy glue fest happening. <laughs> so just make sure that you don't do that. Okay. And then we'll just use our clips and we'll just clip it all the way around and leave it to sit for a little while until it sets. And there we have it. So we'll just set that aside for a moment. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get a hot glue gun and we're going to apply some flat back pearls to the top of our little pocket just to dress it up a little bit. So I've got my glue gun here all hooked up and ready to go. I also have my trusty... Uh, tweezers because this can get a little messy. So we're just going to apply some glue on the back. Just a tiny little dab. All the way down. Very intricate operation. And there we go. So once the heart is dry, we'll come back and we'll put all of this together. There we have our little pocket now, and now we have our body of our hanging heart. So we're just simply going to remove those clips. Now just give it a little bit of a fluff up with your nail just to remove the little marks that the clips have made. We don't want to be able to see those. Just by moving the fabric around a little bit, you can remove them really easily. So then we're going to pop the pocket on here. And we're going to use those clips again just to hold it all together. So we'll pop the clips through here. And then we're going to get a needle and cotton and we're just going to whip stitch all the way around the heart. So in the areas here where the pocket is, you'll be going through three layers at once. But for the rest of the heart, you'll just be going through the two layers. So it's really easy. You just need two strands of a polyester thread, preferably. Something like a bottom line, because that will sink into the sides of the fabric. And then we'll come back and show you what it looks like finished. And there we go. Here's the gorgeous little hanging heart, all finished. So you can pop what you like in it. You could, you could put chocolates in it if you wanted to gift it sewing supplies you can hang it on the wall with some flowers in it whatever you want it's a sweet little heart uh, it's made with the beautiful maple farm fabrics of course and you've got the lovely applique there you can see along here where i've whip stitched it so hopefully you can see that it's, it's nice and neat it sort of looks really really nicely finished i think and uh, it's very easy to make so i hope that you give this one a go if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you on the next one bye for now